cheeks are ready. Smile, girls. Now that you're up. We're meeting the ferry. And we're going to ride across this this uh, little body of water, which is where our swim will be tomorrow. Um, and we're going to go check out the race venue and get our our uh, stuff, make sure that we're ready to go and figure out a few logistics for morning. So I think we're good. <laughs> feels like it's been an obstacle. I mean, between having had my knee injury, that catastrophic thing that took away hopes at age 36. Um, and then right on the heels of that cancer, I faced that until I was about 41. And then that has been behind me. And then 
it feels like one obstacle after the next. The most recent that concussion that was two and a half years ago. Um, I just, I have to thank the Creator for promising what He's promised. My hopes and dreams that remain, remain alive and well. And the thing I want to make clear to people is that it's really not about my success as an athlete. I think what it's really about is being an example of perseverance and of trying to be who I know God says I am and not giving up just because things are tough. Um, we race in the morning and um, I don't know what's going to get captured because um, the priorities change a little bit from trying to grab video, but uh, you know, thank you for some of the support that many of you guys have given and, and I mean like words are incredibly powerful. We're taught that silly rhyme as school children, but I'm telling you words mean a lot. And so many of you have just encouraged me as I've gone along in um, thank you for that. So, uh, I'm gonna turn it off and, um, concentrate on the other priority, which is getting this race safely done.